here at Barclays Center. I am Michael Grady. What a stretch of 18 months it has been for Kevin Durant. His resume really speaks for itself. One of the best players in NBA history, one of the best players to ever lace him up. But it has been a test of patience for him over the course of the last year and a half. And the only sit-down interview with Kevin Durant since training camp got underway. I started the interview by asking Kevin how he would assess his play and the practices leading up to the start of the regular season. I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> you know, and I think, um, <laughs> I think, you know, I, I try to, I try to just focus on each, each, you know, uh, milestone. You know, first it was learning how to walk again, and then run, and then jump, and so now it's just planning, you know, going through training camp again and planning a, a, a real NBA game. So I'm looking forward to that, and you know, like I said, I'm always going to think about, you know, progressing and and getting better every single day, and and I think, you know. Coming off an injury, that's the that's the best mindset I can have is take it a day at a time. What do you feel like you've gained a greater appreciation for, either within the game or outside of the game, in the 18 months that you've been away? Well, I always felt I had the respect and the love for the game, and I always appreciated uh, what this game has given me and my family. Um, but I miss the camaraderie the most, having to figure out things on the floor with your teammates and, uh, and things that the coaches can't intervene on. You know, I feel like. When we come together as a unit out on the floor um, to problem solve, that makes us better human beings. So I, I miss that part of everything, and that's what I was looking forward to the most. Well, Kevin, you've already accomplished everything that there is to accomplish within the game. You've been an MVP, two-time champion, two-time finals MVP. But those close to you still say that you have a curiosity about the game, which I've always felt has been in the DNA of great players. How would you describe your curiosity about the game to someone who says you've accomplished everything there is to accomplish? It's all about gaining that experience. And I think, you know, as you continue, to, as I continue to get older in the league, the game is changing, players are coming in differently. So it's, a, it's about adjusting and adapting. And I think that's the fun part of it all. And, uh, you know, and so I still feel like I have that kid-like approach to the game where I'm just, I, 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 I walk into the gym and I just feel excited to be here and I feel excited to go out there and work to get better and, and to collab on the game with my teammates, you know, and bring what I bring to the table. And, you know, I feel like uh, we have a young, exciting group that, that approaches it the same way. So I'm looking forward to it. What is it like balancing, perfecting your craft along with your creative and business endeavors? Well, they all tie in to one another, and I feel like I can't um, do what I do off the floor unless I handle the business on the floor. And I feel like I approach this game with a spiritual mindset of knowing that it's a higher power that's controlling everything, um, you know, and all this is preordained and that we we have experience, you know, we, we have it in ourselves to experience the highest level of everything, you know. So I feel like this team knows that we have greatness in us all individually. And if we just got to bring that together, you know, and as simple as that sounds, I think it can happen for us if we, we knuckle down and come to work every single day. So I think everybody believes in themselves individually. What will your approach be from a leadership standpoint within the locker room with so much talk on the outside about expectations with this team? Keep, you know, focus on us. You know, was, we know the noise from the outside can get loud and a lot of people are expecting us to do big things. Um, and, but we have high expectations for ourselves. We want to be at an elite level every single day as a group, as a unit, in practice and shoot arounds and games. And if we focus on that detail every single day, then the end result is going to take care of itself. 15 first half points for Kevin Durant in his first game in 552 days. Ryan Rucco, Sarah Kustak with more halftime in Brooklyn. The Nets leading by 18.